There are good tourists who leave the local sightseeing scene intact. And then there are the other tourists who leave utter destruction in their wake. This is all about the bad tourists and the priceless things they've ruined. A 10 million euro Monet. According to the Irish Examiner, the Claude Monet painting Argente Basin with a single sailboat was on display in the National Gallery of Ireland when some guy punched it in 2012. The meticulous restoration took 18 months and the culprit was tried on vandalism charges. And so that it gets into zero further fisticuffs, the painting is now housed behind protective glass. Ancient Chinese Vases According to a 2006 article in The Guardian, a man was visiting the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge when the bumbling six-foot giant tripped on his untied shoelace and crashed into three Chinese vases from the Qing Dynasty that were worth 500,000 pounds. A restorer was contracted to put the more than 400 pieces back together, and the man was banned from the museum, though he was very, very sorry. Destructive Selfies Hashtag traveling? Be careful where you selfie. In 2016, per the UPI, a tourist was visiting Lisbon's National Museum of Ancient Art when he knocked over a 300-year-old statue of St. Michael while taking a selfie, damaging it beyond repair. It was the second time the same thing had happened at that museum in the same year, but no museum is safe. According to the New York Times, in 2017, a woman bumped into an art installation while taking a selfie and started a domino effect, causing $200,000 in damage. And per the locals, some guys climbed onto the 300-year-old statue of the two Hercules in Italy in 2015, damaging a marble crown sitting on top. Hercules, the son of Zeus, your legend ends here. The Fontana della Barcaccia in 2015, 7,000 Dutch soccer fans descended on Rome for a match, but NPR says that in the days leading up to it, they drunkenly took over an entire town. The worst was that they broke the Fontana della Barcaccia, built in 1627, in which had only recently undergone a restoration. How did they do it? Hundreds of them threw beer bottles full of urine at it. The total cost of all the damage came to 3 million euros. The Virgin Mary According to NPR, one visitor to the Museo dell'Opera del Duomo in Florence in 2013 just had to touch the art, specifically a 15th century statue of the Virgin Mary. He touched her hand, and her pinky finger went flying off. The BBC says the 55-year-old Missouri man apologized, but he was still facing a fine for that whole no-touching thing. The Elgin Marbles the Telegraph revealed that in 1961, two young boys were on a school trip to the British Museum where they started fighting. One of them fell into a 2,500-year-old marble centaur on the frieze of the Pantheon in Greece and knocked its leg off. While it was later reattached, it was permanently damaged. A $100 million Picasso According to the New York Times, Pablo Picasso's painting, The Actor, worth a cool $100 million pre-incident, had been hanging at the Met since 1952. But in 2010, it met its worst enemy, when a woman standing next to the 105-year-old painting managed to trip and make a six-inch rip. Pond des Art Bridge It's not clear who first came up with the idea, but in 2009, thousands of people took pen to padlock and affirmed their eternal love by locking up this Paris landmark. Soon, the Pont des Arts, a 200-year-old bridge built way back when Napoleon was around, was covered in locks. City Metric says that within five years, there were 45 tons of them. The inevitable happened in 2014, when a section of the bridge collapsed and had to be replaced with wooden panels. Soon, the love locks were removed and everyone had to break up, or find a different city to destroy with their eternal love. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.